This is Gemara in Kedusha in the Daf Lamid Gimel. Love to learn for this month. As we wind down, the month of El has been generously sponsored as an incredible schos alias Nishama for Esther Rizal Basra Mayor on the final day of El on Erev Rosh Hashanah. The learning on this incredible day should bring Esther Rizal Basra Mayor to such a high place in Gan Eden Shalbaila, be a Melatsyoisha and her entire family, and ultimately on the entire Chabura and Bisiyata de Shemaya. Herald in Mashiach with a new year in Mirza Hashem. So we pick it up in the bottom of <coughs> Lamed Beis, Lamed Beis. Four lines from the wide lines. Isi ben Yehuda Oimer <coughs> teaches Isi ben Yehuda in the middle of discussing when the din of Kibud Rabbi applies. The din of a Zakin, that one has to be Takam ve Adarta, ben Nei Zakin. So says the Gemara, Isi ben Yudha Imer ben Nei Seva Takum, one has to get up for an elder. Says Isi ben Yudha, Filu Kol Seva bim Ashma. Even all Seva is implied. And Rashi says, What does all Seva mean? Everyone who is old, which includes a Zakin Ashmai, which includes, as we mentioned yesterday, an elder who's unfortunate, not learned. Asks the Gemara, the Kash that we mentioned from the beginning of the Brice, Rav Yaisi Aglili, Hainu Tanakama. Rav Yaisi Aglili is the same thing as the Tanakama, Ikebe who says the Gemara, Yonik, one who's young, Vechacham and wise. Tanakama, Savar Yonik, Vechacham Lai. Rav Yaisi Aglili, Savar, Afilu Yonik, Vechacham, as long as he's a Chacham, will be included. Asks the Gemara, my time to Rav Yaisi Aglili, Amr Lacha. If the Tanikama is correct, that a Yonik V'chacham, a young Tav V'chacham is not included. The Torah should have said, Why did the Torah split it up? They say, It's okay. Hi, love, hi, hi, love, hi, shmami, no. From the fact of the repetitive nature on the Pasuk, teaches Isi ben Yehuda, I feel Yannick Vilchachem. Says the Gemara of the Tanikam, we should divide the Mishach, Zakim be your How does the Tanikam respond? Because the Pasuk had to put together Zakim and your Asa. So now the Gemara throws back that ball, the proverbial game of Gemara ping pong. Vitanikama, my time, where does the Tanikama get his din? Explains the Gemara. Is like a Tanikam, Rabbi Saglili, if you like Rabbi Saglili. Im Kain, Nichtav Rachman, the Torah should have said, "When they say, 'Va Takom ve'Adarta, Takom ve'Adarta b'nei Zakein, Omidlo Kasev Achish Mamina." From there we see, like the Tanakam, oh, continues the Gemara, Lamig Gimel, Amid Aleph. Shmamina, excuse me, Chad who, Chad who, that it's all one din, it's not two different din, and that's the Tanakam. And we continue on, Lama Gilma with Aleph continues the Gemara, Amar, Mar. Quoting the aforementioned Braisa, Yachal, I would think, Yadrenu b'mamayim. I would think, you didn't to honor with money, Tamalei mar tokum v'adarta. And from there we learned out, Ma'akima, just like standing up doesn't cost any money, Ma'akima, she'in ba'i chisar and kiss. Avhidr, she'in ba'i chisar and kiss. Asks the Gemara, Vakima, last be'i chisar and kiss? Really? It's so free just to stand up. Mila Yaskinam the Kanaki Marganisa. He's he has a very delicate job. And he's sitting there and he's making holes in pearls and diamonds. What do you mean? Any wealthy businessman, you get up for two minutes, it costs money. Ella says the Gemar Ikash Kima Leheder. Says Gemar, let's flip it around. Where Makish the Kima getting up to the header, my header, just like showing honor. She'ein ba'i bittol. There's no bittol involved in that. Avkima she'ein ba'i bittol does not inv- doesn't need to entail any bittol. Ve'ikah shenami hider lekima and says the gemara you do it the other way. Ma kima she'ein ba'i chesarin kiss. Av hider she'ein ba'i chesarin kiss. Mikan am ruv mir. We learn out four lines on the wide lines. La mi gimel amir alim. Here we learn out ein ba'le omnis. Rishayin Lamoid, one who is employed, one who has a delicate job, is not allowed. Lamoid in the Tamachacha Bishash Aiskin, Bimelachta, because you're causing a loss. What is your, where do you get the right to cause the boss a loss? This really reminds us 
to Gemaras that we've seen way back in Bracha is that a worker can't even bench. What do you mean? Because who gives you the right if the bench, the minimal amount? Of course, we said that nowadays most employers are Michael that little bit, but in concept, that is the same thing we're seeing over here, that you can't go and do a whole standing up, which is going to potentially cause a loss. Asks the Gemara of Eli, is that true? Would get up and say shalom. This is referring to the procession by Bikurim. They would get up and they would greet them with honor. So says the Gemara that we see that the Bali Malacha would indeed stand up and accord them honor. Amr Av Yechran answers the Gemara on the first white line, Mipneyam Aimdim. In front of them, the Bikurim was a special din. In front of those bringing the Bikurim, they would stand up. However, Mipnei Tamachacham, in front of a Tamachacham, Ain Aimdim, they would not stand up. Amr Av Yechran, on the second white line, Baure, come and see. Riyosi Avid says, let's hit the equals button. Listen to what we just said. Come and see. Kama chaviva mitzvah b'shaita. How beloved is a mitzvah in the right time. Shreem nei amayim dem nei tamidei chacham amayim dem. A simple Jew bringing bekurim and he we would stand up for. But a tabu chacham, he we would not. Says the Gemara, what's that? If it don't shine the awesome, maybe over there it's different. Dem kein ata machshin lasse lovely. Maybe over there is that a raya? Because maybe when it comes to Bikurim, the reason why we're standing is because we don't want it to be machshal people in the future to not bring Bikurim, and not necessarily is it due to the incredible importance of the mitzvah. Amar Mar, in the fifth white line, quoting the Braisa, we said, Yachl, I would have had a hava, I mean, it's a thing mipanav, mi beisach kise, mi beisach merachatz. You have to stand up, even in a bathroom, even in a bathhouse. Asks the Gemara of Eloi, do you not? And he didn't stand up. And a Maschuta Rashi says is a Merchatz. And he was upset he didn't stand up. And furthermore, Bar Kapara of Amila Rav Shmuel Bar Bar Rav Yosi have a Yosef be mischuta again a bath else. All of us little Rav Shimon Bar Rav Yivlo come and come and make when he also was makvid. But also Amila Lavua Shnei Shlishi Shlish Shanisi Loi Beteres Kahanim La Amar Mipanai. So chose the Gemara that even though in the price that we said that there's no din. Of standing up in a bathhouse because there's only a din of kima and makam hider and there's no hider in a bathhouse. Says the Gemara, we see these stories of these gedolim that they indeed were makvid. Va'amar la yishema ba'hen yoyishevu maharer time of ba'hen yoyishevu maharer halavachi la'i that he responded. Maybe the reason why they didn't stand up is because they were sitting, they were thinking and learning. But if not for that reason, and Rashi says they were tarred. And they didn't see. We know many stories of big Gedalim that they don't notice what's going on. So maybe that's why. But says the Gemara, if not, they would indeed stand up. Answers the Gemara, There's different points of the bathhouse. In the bathhouse, where the changing room will call it that people are dressed. That's the place that they were mocked where they should have stood up and shown them honor. But in the place, like the inner room, the inner chamber of the mikvah where people are undressed, that's where we said you do not show honor. And proves the Gemara, this indeed is logical. You let be mahar, you let it think Torah in all places. Aside from Beis HaKisei, Beis HaMerchatz, Beis Amerchot to Beis Akisi, Delma and says Gemara. No, maybe not, because Delma lo unsei shabra shabir. So meaning the Gemara thought it was alright, because for the fact that they were thinking and learning must be it was an outer room, as you're not allowed to think and learning in the inner chambers. Says the Gemara, not alright. We know the stories of the rugged shaver, how he just wasn't able to not think and learning. So maybe that's all the Gemara meant. And we continue quoting the Brisa at the two dots, about twenty lines to the bottom. 
You're allowed to close your eyes and pretend like you didn't see. Says the Gemara. Unto Mershias, you know what's going on over here? We're saying to close your eyes and not to show honor to the Tzavu Chacham. Why would you do that? Ella, you know what the Bryce meant? Yachal Yatim Einav Makmei Dilamate Zman Chiyuva. Maybe before the Chiyuv comes. We said, why do you have to stand up when he's in front of you? So maybe when he's at a distance, that's when you close your eyes. The chimat is man chiyuva, because then when he comes in front of you, Allah chazilei, the kami kami, and then you wouldn't see enough to stand up. Tam lo no, talk of your race, you should bring on the chiyuv, even though you see him coming, make sure you see him. Tan, we learned in a Mishnah, he's a hukima. What is standing up? Sheyesh vayi hedr, that shows honor of the oimer, is that dalad amos, then dalad amos. Amar rabbi, elay amar, an elabir rabbi, sheyeh noi movak. Aval be Rabbi Amovok, which means a Rebbe that taught you most or all of your Taira, which most of the Paiskin Paskin nowadays doesn't really exist. This is more in the nostalgic world of Chazal, the a Rebbe that taught you from a young age all the way through. But a Rabbi Amovok, Mali Enov, as far as I can see, when you see the Rebbe, you got to stand up. When you see the ear of the Chamar, the donkey of Rabbi Yosef, to us, you have a Kaim Abai, you already stand up. Sa then a higher sagya. He was riding and he was by the edge of the river. Yasser Mishar Shiva Rabban and Bidakis, they were on the other side. And they didn't stand up. Armor the ho. And he said to them, Why didn't you stand up? But Lavra Movakanam, and now you're Rabbi Movak, Amr Lay, Lava Daitin. We didn't notice, it wasn't on our mind that you were coming. We continue quoting, says the Gemara, about twelve lines from the bottom, the two dots. Rav Shimin ben Allah Zaraimir Minayin the Zagin Shal Yatriach. How do you know it's a Zakin? We just said the onlooker. When I see the Zakin, I should not close my eyes. Make sure when I see him when he comes closer. But we said that the Zakin should try to do his part to, to go take the circuitous route to not bring people to have to stand up for him. An example that comes to mind. Apologies, an example that comes to mind to Rosh Ali, whenever he would walk into the base medrash, if there'd be a whole group of people, what would he do? He would stand in the back. He wouldn't walk in, because if he would walk in at that moment, everyone would stand up, so he would wait till people were sitting. And then he would walk in right there, the Rosh Hashim of Rakway. When he comes in from Mayrif, if he'll ever show up late and people are already sitting, he won't walk through the whole base medrash, everyone has to stand up. You wait, because so you don't want to bring people to have to stand for you. So Shimon Allah has learned this thing. Minayin lezakein shleya triach tamaloi mar zakein v'yareisa. Amar Rabbi teaches that by a nektinon, which means we have a mesayra di makif that if he takes a circuitous route, chayi he'll live. Abaye makif Rav Zera makif Rav Vina v'yosek kamei Rav Yirmiyah medifti chalav ahu gavra pass by a certain man kamei v'lo mechsi reisha. Amar kama chutzim what a chutzim this guy has on gavra. Amar lei demo mimasim mechasi eninu tigisi be rabbana maybe he's from masim mechasiyam. In which, Gisi be Rabbanan, as Rashi points out, what does that mean? It means there's tons of Rabbanan all over the place over there. Therefore, the Liboy Gast are accustomed to them, and therefore, maybe that's why he didn't show the appropriate honor. Continues the Gemara, he's been you diamond, they say, talking about the Philo called Seva, be Mashma, which is the Gemara we started with today, which meant even a Zakin Ashma, even a Nan Tamil Chacham, he's been you to hell, you have to stand up for. Do you stand up for any elder, regardless if they are Tamil Chachm or not? Rabbi Yechon, have you come? Makbe Sabah Darmoy, an Armenian elder, Amma Kama Harpakti, Edoy Alayu, the honey, Rav, the honey. How great, how much wisdom does such a person have? How many, how many miracles did he endure? Therefore, he stood up for him. Rava makim loika he hid her avid. Rava wouldn't stand up, but he showed a little bit of hither. He made a little movement to show a little honor to him. Hid her avid lahu. Abai have a abai yav yadi lesaba. Abai would give his hand to the elder person. Rava meshader shluchu would send his servant. Rav Nachum meshader guzai. Rav Nachum would send his uh, horses to help the elder. Amar ilav taira kam and Nachum bar Rava ikav yishuka. And said, Rav Nachman, if not for the Taira, how many Nachman or Abbas would there be in the marketplace? Amar Rav Aivu, Amar Rav Yanai, turning over to Lamed Gimel, Amid Bey, says Rav Yainu, name Rav Yanai, Aivu, name Rav Yanai, Ain Tamachacham, Rashai Lamed, Mifnei Rabbi, Tamachacham is not allowed to stand up in front of his Rabbi, Elo, Shachris, Va'arvis, only once in the morning and once at night. Why? What does that mean? He's not allowed? Why is he not allowed? 
So says the Gemara, you know why? The honor of the Rebbe should not be more than the honor of Kavod Shemayim. The man of times, you honor Hashem, you breathe honor to Hashem morning and night. You're Mekabal Omach Shemayim. So you don't want the honor for the Rebbe to be more than that. I don't understand. If the Talmud only stands up two times a day, why would the Rebbe not be Matriach? Let him do at least those two times. Explains the Gemara, Chiyuvahu. Amaylo no Matriach, Chiyuvahu. It's a Chiyuv on the Talmud. El Alav, Kule Rather, I meant the whole day. Says the Gemara, La'ayla, M'shach, Zvar, V'zulvad. Really? I meant morning and night. V'afilu hachi, Kama de'ev, Shirlei, Lai Nitrich. It's true. There's a Chiyuv twice a day. But still, the Rebbe shouldn't be Matriach. The Talmud, more than that, continues the Gemara, eight lines down, Omar, Rav, Elazar, Kol Tam V'chacham, Sheim Aymeid, Bifnei, Rabboi, any Tam V'chacham doesn't stand up in front of his Rebbe, Nikra, Rasha, and Veinam Arachamim, he won't have a long life, the Talmud, the Mishtach, don't forget his Tai Rosh, and Amar, the Tai, the Lohiyah, the Rasha, will not be good for the Rasha, the Lohiyah, the Yomim, Ketzel, Asher, Yenenu, Yarei, Melafnei, Alikim, excuse me, Yarei, Melafnei, Alikim, excuse me, one more time. Vlayare chiyamim kitzel. Asher einenu yare milfnei alikim. Myra zu eni adei umau. So we know what one is. What is Myra? Shoim if you erase it milikecha harei Myra zu kima veima Myris rabis Myris mishk ribis Myris mishkalais. Maybe Myra in the pasuk isn't referring to the Myra, the fear of the Rebbe at all. Maybe he's referring to other fears, and one has to fear taking off ribbis, one has to fear having improper rapes. Rav Lazar, Pane, Pane, Gamar says Rav Lazar, no, we have Xerah Shaiva, Pane, Pane, and that's how we know that the Myra in the pasuk over here is not talking about other forms of Averis, but rather the Myra of the Rab, Rabbi. Says the Gemara Ibaylo. What is the story? If we have a son, and he's the Rebbe, the father learns from the son. What is the Allah? Is he allowed to stand up for his father? He has a din of kibbut af. What's the problem? The problem is he's the Rebbe, and he's standing up for the Talmud. Says the Gemara Tashema, Darmle Shemal Rav Yehuda Shinina, Shemal told Rav Yehuda Sharp One, Come, Akme Avuch, stand up from your father. Shani, Rav Yechaskel, the Balmaisim, Have a da filu marshmuel, Nami, Koyim Akme, and even Marshmuel stands up in front of him. Elamai Kamrle, Hachi Kamrle, is what he meant. Zenin, the Asima, Chayre, sometimes he comes in the back. Come at me, come in, stand up from him. And don't be worried. So the Gemara is basking that even though the child is the is the Rebbe, he's still allowed and it's seemingly supposed to stand up for the father. Six lines to the white line to ask the Gemara, Benoi, the who Rabbi, Mahu Shiamoid of him, Ipanam. Now we ask on the flip side. So we just said that the child is allowed to stand up for the Rebbe, for the, excuse me, for the father. What about the flip side? Can the father stand up for the child if the child is the Rebbe? Tashema, Dom Rebbe Shoben Levi, Ani, Eidi, Kedai, Aini, Kedai, Lamoid, Bifnei, Banai. I'm not going to stand in front of my child, Elu Mishom, Kavoid, Beis, Nasi. But I'm only going to stand up for him because of the Nasi. So the Gemara is Medayik, very simply. Time I done a Rabbi. Only because I'm his Rebbe. I Ihu Rabbi. If he was my Rebbe, Kamina Mekameh would even did stand up for him, even though he is my child. Hachi Kamar Ani. So what do you mean? Eni Kedai Lamoid. Bifnei Bini Vafilu Rabbi. Dahana Avua. Al Misham Kavod Beis Nasi. So the Gemara is saying that no, the only reason why he stood up is why is because of the Kavod Beis Nasi. But if not for that detail, even if the son was the Rebbe, the father, he would not stand up for his son. Ibayilu continues the Gemara. Rachav Kemalich Dami Arlay. So a little bit of a segue now. Asks the Gemara, what's the story? As Rashi explains, if the Rebbe is riding. Is that Kemahalich? Is that like he's walking and therefore your Rebbe's riding? Maybe it's in a car. 
In Gemara times, obviously, it means that an animal, but you have to, you have to stand up in front of the Rebbe. Let's just go back for one second, for one second in the previous Gemara, just to read. There's a few important Rashi's over here. Rashi explains, let's just go back to Rashi, Makme Avuch. Rashi says, As we've seen in previous Gemaras, Why did you warn him if not to teach Allah to Afal P? Shuraboy, Chayiv Lamu Bufan. If that was the previous Gemara, which we proved that even though the son is the Rebbe, he still has the din to stand up for his father. But now the next Gemara, what did the Gemara answer? Achli Kamar. Let's go down two more Rashis. Rashi says, Kalaymer, Eni Kedai, the Kamar Lab. What did he mean when he says Eni Kedai? Lami Shum Gedoyla Tairu, Alune Shu Aviv Kamar, Dein Av Kedai, Lamoy Bifnei Haben. The father should not stand up in front of the son, even though the son is the Rebbe. And the son is the Rebbe, he's still allowed to stand up for his father. Now continues the Gemara, Rabba Rachav Kemalich, if the Rebbe is riding, is that, pa, pa, is that the same thing as the Rebbe walking and therefore the Talmud should stand up or not? Amr Shema, three lines into the wide lines. Tameh we bring a proof from Tum of it, Taira. If we have one person sitting under a tree and he's Tahar, Vitar, I made, and the Tahar guy is standing, Tame, then the Tuma is transmitted. Tame, I made, if the Tame guy is standing, Taha Zeilan, Vitar, Yoishev, and the Tahar guy is sitting, Tahar, <coughs> Tuma is not, not transmitted because the Tuma cannot be transmitted unless you're, you're set in that place. And if you're standing, it's not trans, transmitted. So if the Tommy guy sits down, then not to hard Tommy. Then he's then he's set in that place. Now the guy becomes Tommy. A stone that has saras. From here we see Rachov is Kamahalech Tommy Shvamina. From here we have a proof that Rachov is like Mahalech is like going Shvamina, and that is the. That is the raya, as we see that if he's yoishev, then it's going to transmit the tomo. So similarly, when you're rachav, you are sitting, but then it's going to be kemahalich dami, and the tumma will transmit. Let's see Rashi, we'll basically call it a day over here. Let's just see Rashi towards the end of the narrow lines. Rashi says, Where's the raya? So Rashi speaks out the raya for the case of the stone. That in such a case, we said, Rachel Mahalik Tami Vlav Basre Tideos Lino. We don't go Basar himself. Allah Basar Behema Nois Oi, the animal that is carrying the stone, the Hacha Loi Basar Evan Azlino. Allah Basar Adam, I know you say the person carrying it Azlino. The Ibasar Adi Da Azlino. Filo Yashab Nasay Tami Nit Mahatar. The Yuma Yasev Yasve Becheko Ibixeva Shalan Nois. So he's carrying the stone. So we see he goes after the writing, the Varachov is. On this line, we're going to conclude. The Gemara asks, "If they say the first time, if 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 they say the first why didn't he stand up? Because he held that you're not supposed to stand up while you're learning. But concludes the Gemara, Layit Allah Abaya. Abaya was not happy with such an approach. And even while learning, Lamaisa, when the Rebbe and Tabachacham passes by, you still have to show the appropriate honor. We'll stop over here. We'll pick it up from Vivitu Achrei Moshe the next year. Bisiyato Dishmayo.